Okay, let's have a look at our results. Uh, we have computed our plan, and now we want to look at the results in Hecrest D. Uh, we can we usually get this kind of message. We have seen that this one has taken 19 minutes to run. We can close this and to see our results, we'll go to RASMAPPER window. And tun -tun 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 -tun, it's loading. We click the results map layer if it is not clicked. And we can see here where we get. I also have the Google satellite uh, image. If not, you can go here and uh, uh, add web image. Uh, web imagery and add Google Satellite that is very nice background for showing our results. And uh, here, for example, I have shown the depth. Uh, I can, uh, hmm, let's see, this one. Let's uh, look at the velocity first. Here I have my velocity. I have also, uh, this one is the, um, the scale that we show it is between zero and two meter per second. If we want to change it, uh, we go double click here and we can edit this and choose the maximum value that we have. Let's say, for example, we want to show a maximum value of three meters per second. We say OK and it will create. I oh, know I did it wrong. Let's do it again. Double click, edit, three important create from values. Now it has been changed, hopefully, yes. And now it's three meters. What can I see in the velocity map? Uh, I can move here in the time span. Uh, so here we start with a, with a simulation of 100 cubic meters per second, and it, the flow goes up to 920 on time. So here we can start seeing that there is flooding. What is interesting to see here, that at the beginning, here there is a small wall for preventing water to pass. Uh, to the uh, flood plains, but Hecras hasn't seen it, and the water ha has gone through. How can we actually check that? We can go to profile lines, add a profile line. We can draw a profile line, click and double click to finish. Profile line two, okay. And we have we can right click, plot profile. I like to do it with the water surface elevation line. We have to have it uh, checked plot profile, water surface elevation. And here I can see this profile that I have drawn here. And as if I click the water surface elevation, I can see how it is moving the water in time. I go next, I go next, I go next, I go next. Ah, and I can see here that the water is flowing to the other side, but the water didn't really reach the top of this wall. Why is this happening? Because these cells here are taking sides, uh, half a side in both sides of the wall. So it doesn't uh, get that we have a barrier here. How do we uh, correct this? By putting a break line here. And sometimes it becomes a, of uh, iterated process, realizing that you have an error and you fix. And this is the beauty of doing a good geometry. We just do a simple one to start, see our results, check that it's good. And important, how to save our uh, raster uh, results as TIFF. We go right click, uh, manage results map player. This window shows up. I have already saved the depth, but let's say I want to uh, save the velocity. I go here, edit map. I choose a profile, for example, um, two hours. I can choose here many different maps, actually. I could choose the depth map, inundation boundary, current number, and a lot of different results. We can talk about more. Uh, other time, uh, but here I choose just for example this profile and time to raster based on terrain so it's safe to diff safe map. And important here, you can see the map has not been created yet. To create it, I have to compute, update, store map. Click here, this window shows up. So we wait a little bit, our map is being stored. And uh, yeah, this is very useful because now I can bring it to our map or QGIS or whatever I want to see my results. When it has been computed, if this is my project uh, uh, window, uh, it will create a, a, a folder with the name of the plan that I have created. That way it is important, the plan. Because if I create a thousand plans, but I don't give them a nice name, I will not be. It will be difficult to find our results. So we will go to our plan, and we can see we have here the file for our depth, 
and our velocity. And yeah, I think uh, that's it. Um, I could add different maps here, manage, no, you know, right click in the plan, manage resolve maps layer. And for example, I could add a new map such as if, um, let's say shear stress, for example, I like this one too. Uh, profile, I will just create this raster so I can move it in the time. I'm not gonna store it in the folder, just here for visualization. Add map, it is being created at the moment. We wait a little bit. Ten and ten and ten and ten and ten and ten and successfully added. So we can close. We can go here. Takes a little bit of time to load. Ten and ten and. But the important thing here is that uh, check out the options. Look, uh, Hegras has many different ways. You can see the results. You can store the Nastif and bring it to other program. You can create profiles and see how they would remove at different time steps. Uh, you can change the visualization. You can also like compute uh, water surface elevation difference between uh, different plants. Rust Mapper is becoming a very powerful tool that Hecras is developing a lot lately. So I like it, its own GIS system. So I really encourage you to try this. Yeah, for some reason my computer got blocked now, but uh, you can do this on your own. And I really wish you a lot, a lot of luck. And yeah, uh, bye bye. <laughs> Have a nice day.